Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrysheetcottage.net here today with another edition of Cricut Basics. So Cricut Basics are small, short videos where we explain the basics of your Cricut machine. So today we're going to talk about making stencils with your Cricut. So there's a few different ways that you can make stencils. So the first way is with vinyl. So you can use just regular vinyl that you might have left over from a project. So I like to do this with little bits and scraps if I need a smaller stencil or maybe colors that I purchased but am not wild about anymore. So maybe I purchased this yellow for a project and I just decided not to use it. I really don't have another project that would use the yellow. Then I could use the yellow to make stencils and then it wouldn't be a part of my project. So I'd use it for a stencil, peel it back off, toss it, and then I would get use out of the vinyl that I may not use otherwise. So save all those little bits and pieces and you can use them to make stencils. Now, Cricut also makes a stencil vinyl. So you can buy that vinyl specifically for stencils as well. I tend to stick with just the regular vinyl because I already have it on hand, just not to have another um, thing in my craft room that I'm holding onto waiting for that project. If you're gonna make a bunch of stencils, you might give the stencil vinyl a try. The other thing you can do if you want to make a more traditional stencil, so this is adhesive vinyl, so it would be like a self-adhesive stencil. You could basically use it one time, right? So you stick it on, you would use it to make your project, you would remove it, you would throw it away. If you wanted to make a reusable stencil instead with your Cricut machine, what I would recommend is purchasing stencil film. Now this brand is Studio 71. I purchased it off Amazon. Um, and it's the brand I use. So what it is is thin add like acetate sheets and you cut it with your Cricut machine. So it would just be like making a stencil just like you would purchase at the craft store. So if you are used to those pre-made stencils that are reusable, this is the way to make those with your Cricut machine. So you purchase this, you cut out your stencil. You could use a repositionable adhesive spray on the back if you wanted an adhesive but you could wash it, use over and over and over again, just like with a pre-purchased stencil. The only thing you have to think about when you're using something like this um, is like the insides. So you need to make sure those don't fall out when you remove those. So think about your design when you're looking at making a stencil that's reusable, especially. With the vinyl, you could use transfer tape, apply it to your surface, use it as a stencil, peel it off, throw it away. It doesn't really matter so much about the design. With a reusable stencil, it will matter about the design. Like things like using little um, pieces in your design to hold in things like the centers of letters and that type of thing. So what I thought I'd do with the rest of this video is show you some stencils I've made and some projects. So we're gonna flip through those. You can find the link for each of those in the description below for this video. So you can head to all those links and see how to cut various products. So I have something on cutting this stencil film with your Cricut machine. I have projects using regular vinyl for stencils and how to cut those as well as use them for projects. So let's run through a few projects. So now you can head down to the description for this video click around on the links, find some projects that maybe you want to try, or just use those instructions to create your own project. So the instructions can be applied to any stencil you want to make. So I hope that helps clear up how to make stencils with your Cricut, and I hope that you use the guidelines to make some projects for yourself because I know you'll love them. So thank you all so much for joining me today. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. If you have any questions about making stencils with your Cricut machine, ask them below. I will point you to a link that will answer that question or I might answer your question on a future video and elaborate a little bit on your question. And then if you love videos like these, short little videos about your Cricut, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have tons of them. You can also head to our YouTube channel, scroll down, and look at all the past videos. I thank you all so much for joining me today and get out there, make some stencils with your Cricut and make some projects. Thank you all so much for joining me and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.